<clears throat> there is a block and this block moves from uh, point A to B along the inclined plane and the block travels a distance D uh, which is also the displacement and the displacement is equal to the length of the inclined plane. The angle at which this uh, plane is inclined is theta and the weight of the block is acting in the downward direction. Of course, we are pushing in this direction. So our force is in this direction. So our force is responsible for moving this block from here to here. But still, if you are being asked to find out the work done by gravity under this situation, we can proceed as further. And height of the uh, this block or height of this inclined plane is h above the ground, right? So work done. by gravity or work done by gravity or gravitational force and weight one and the same thing by gravity is equal to force multiplied by displacement so from here to here if we are supposed to find out work done by gravity then i am going to consider weight as the force multiplied by the displacement from here to here is d multiplied by cos of angle between d and weight so this angle is 90 and this angle is theta so the angle between displacement look at this one the arrow of the displacement and the weight vector is 90 plus theta right and weight is w multiplied by d we know people cos 90 plus theta 90 plus theta falls into second quadrant so the cos value uh, in the second quadrant is negative. So this is equal to minus sine theta. So grade 10 students and 11 students can understand this. And now instead of weight, weight if the mass of this block is m, so weight is w is equal to mg multiplied by d into minus sine theta. And now I'm going to pull this minus sign in the front. So minus mg d sine theta. Now from this triangle, if I find out sine theta is equal to look at this triangle that is perpendicular that is BC upon hypotenuse that is AB. So this BC is equal to H, AB is equal to displacement which can be equated to the length of the inclined plane. If the length of the inclined plane is given then the displacement is equal to the length and that is equal to sine theta. So H is equal to D sine theta and I am going to substitute this value over here. So minus M into G. Now this D sine theta is nothing but H. So this is the formula for work done by gravity people right and this is very important. So look don't get confused the block moves from here to here due to our force. So we are definitely applying the force in this direction. But they are asking us find the work done by gravity under this situation. So if you want to find out the work done then in the work done the force should be which one? Weight because they are asking work done by gravity. So we are going to consider W over here and you can see that when the block moves from here to here the work done is negative. Now if I say that the block reaches over here and it stops then find the work done by gravity so I'm going to use mass I'm going to use G now the H would be this one this would be my H if the block is over here then this would be the H if the block is over here this would be the, be the H because under that situation D would be small and this D sine theta would be equal to this H not this H Correct people? Okay. Now whatever I am going to say is for 11th grade uh, students and it is very short, right? And <clears throat> if I say weight, weight means gravity and gravitational force is a conservative force. Which means that if I find out the work done with the help of weight, it is independent of the path. That means I'm only supposed to see the final and initial position. So initial position of the block is this, final position of the block is this. So if I move the block like this or if I move the block like this, if I move the block like this, the work done does not depend upon the path. That is what is the meaning.
work done is path independent so it only depends upon final and initial positions so if you move the block like this if you move the block like this if you move the block like this work done is same in all situation right and let us find out i am going to move this block from here to here right so i will split up this entire situation instead of moving from here to here let us find out the work done from here to here and i must get get the same answer so the work done in moving the block from here to here is say w1 and work done in moving the block from here to here is say w2 so the work done w1 is equal to force and we are talking about the work done by gravity so that is equal to w into displacement would be equal to ac and cos of angle between work done and the displacement so that is 90 and we know cos 90 is 0 so work done by gravity in moving the block from here to here is 0 because displacement and weight are perpendicular now the block is moving up so that means the displacement is up and the weight of the block is in the downward direction so what is the angle people 180 degree so if i want to find out work done in moving the block from c to b this was the work done in moving the block from a to c so i must write down ac over here now work done in moving the block from c to b that is bc or cb that is equal to weight work done by weight multiplied by displacement is cb in the upward direction and the direction between the uh, weight and the displacement displacement up weight down so that is cos 180 degree so this is equal to uh, w weight multiplied by cb that is h multiplied by this cos 180 degree is minus 1 so this w can be written as mgh times minus 1 so again my total work in moving the block from here to here was total work was w total that was equal to work done from a to c plus work done from c to b and out of which this was zero and plus this was minus mgh so my final answer is again minus mgh people so i have proved a very important point that the work done by gravity is path independent that means if you move the block like this like this like this the work done would be same so people thank you for watching the video and do like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel for more interested learning thank you